Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trofin at the Babbling Belgian and welcome back to XCOM 2, the Valkyrie playthrough. In the War of the Chosen DLC, I keep forgetting to tell you that, but that's of course very important because the lot has changed in this new DLC. Well, not new, it's been out for quite some time, but it's the first time we're playing this on the channel. Today we're gonna do a very interesting resistance mission. So we need to rescue stranded resistance agents while there's a horde of lost roaming the map. The rewards are very, very interesting. We get an engineer, 67 intel and an um, upgraded grenadier, which is uh, gonna bring that grenadier to the same level as uh, Jacqueline, which means we can upgrade her to have Shredder, which is gonna become more and more important. But we're taking on this mission our sharpshooter, Lisbeth, grenadier, Jacqueline, then uh, Heidi Hogan, our uh, amazing ranger, and then uh, a squaddy ranger, that is Emily Walker, and then Kelly Brown, our squaddy specialist. So hopefully we get a few promotions in here, because this should be pretty manageable. So here we go. So I'm assuming that we're gonna get uh, slowed down by the lost a lot. Uh, we're gonna have to make our way through this. But we have five operatives now, which should be in working in our favor. So we can take out as many of the lost as we can while moving through this area. It's the ruins of Bloemfontein. So that is probably a South African name. And that kind of actually fits. So here we go. So we have upgraded our pistol, which is gonna be uh, invaluable in this mission, I believe. Because if we can take out the loss that way, that will be amazing. The but the expedition is trapped not far from your position, and the VIP is using a remote turret to hold off the loss. We only have one clear access point to the area, so get to the target's location and escort them back to the entry point for extraction. Okay, the makes place sense. Is overrun with lost. Don't bother trying to outgun them. After you secure the expedition, you'll have to return to our original entry point for extraction. Don't get overrun. Keep the path back to Firebrand clear. Okay, so I'm guessing we need just one ranger to pull forward and try and get them out as fast as possible. How far away are we? Because that looks like... Yeah, that's probably the Greenwich Deer we're gonna get. So they are lost over there and they're gonna try and get closer. But if we can move up faster we should i'm gonna yeah try to provide as much firing off. power along with a uh, heidi because heidi is probably the one that can move the fa fastest uh and then emily is also a ranger so emily can also go along with her no emily is gonna stay behind i think emily is gonna stay behind that and then we can Any use lisbeth uh with the pistol to actually move closer so go, we're not going to try and overpower the Lost because we know we can't. So we're just going to move as quickly as possible to get to those in need. And they're actually not that far away. We should be able to do this. So I'm going to actually put everybody closer. So Perfect. we're ready to uh, deal whatever comes our way. And stay together. Everybody should probably stay together so we can fire at everything that comes our way in a nice little group. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. And we get our second chosen in a row. So Jax Ilmadron, hard killing. We get his uh, abilities now. So it takes increased damage from close range attacks. That's good because we have two rangers, remember. And the skirmishers, yeah, but we don't have skirmishers. Reveals concealed units and regenerates lost health. Okay. But with two rangers, we might be able to actually get a few hits in. See the face of your ruin. He doesn't seem to be invisible either, which works in our favor. That's one of the elders chosen, and it's not going to make things easy on us. Let's try to take care of it as quickly as possible. That's just two lost. Not that big of a problem. They only have two health, so I'm not even going to bother too much. And they're on the other side of that wall even, so... Okay, so I put Kelly right in between those two Losts. Which means that I can do the same thing because they both have two health. So if I just put Lisbeth over here. Because I think the, the Chosen is actually too far away. I can actually use the pistol to just double shot these guys, right? Uh, pistol headshot, so 3 to 4 damage. Blammo 1 and Blammo 2. Just simple executions. 
We don't need to make this any more difficult than we than it already is. Your forces still have the resolve to finish what you've started, Commander. So we get Lisbat, ooh, right into a bunch of lost over there. I can see the chosen in the background there actually, so we're pretty close. We're only one block away. Um and we need to be careful, so I'm just gonna put Jacqueline over here. Can Lisbeth fire at some of these lost? No, she can't. So I'm just going to put Lisbeth uh, even further. We need to take advantage of this and just move out as quickly as possible. So Lisbeth over there. And it seems like she might have triggered something else. Yeah. So plenty of lost. I'm not going to try to outgun them. They're actually pretty slow. So I don't think they might be even be able to reach... Uh, any other soldiers there. So we could start firing away a little bit. Because these guys actually have a lot of health. So let's just fire away. Four to six damage. And that's four. So that's sad. But never mind. And then we have another shotgun over here. 61. Hmm. What else do we have? We have Kelly over here. But Kelly can move up. Where are the lost? They're over there. I think we should be fine if we just put her... Uh, over here. Moving to designated coordinates. Then Heidi can just use her shotgun. Yeah, on the almost down one. There we go. That was actually six damage. How much does that shotgun actually do? That's six to eight damage. Fine and fair enough. Uh, could actually go for the furthest ones away, but let's focus on the closest one first. Although these guys actually don't have a lot of health. Ah, uh, why not? In the back. And that was a complete miss. Okay. Fair enough. And then Emily can actually fire at one as well. Might as well try that. There we go. That's one. And I think that's going to be enough. Because those go. guys aren't actually close enough for anything else. So... Um, do I put her closer? I think I should probably. I'm just going to put her a bit closer as well. Because... We need to start moving because that chosen is going to be uh, trouble. Spectral zombie. Okay. Oh, wow. What is that? It's something that can move. Does it get an attack immediately? Oh, fuck. Is that going to explode? Spectral rupture. That sounds like it's going to explode. Um, so I'm going to have to be careful. Ooh, I'm, I think we're fine. Yeah, I think we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Please don't explode, spectral zombie. Okay, so I'm guessing that thing might actually explode. If that thing explodes, it's close enough to the car to probably take it with him. So, I'm going to move Lisbeth out over here. Where is the Cho? So, he's still on that rooftop. And they're just still firing away at it. Um, so, let's put Lisbeth over here. Okay. There we go. And then let's start firing with the pistol. Let's go for guaranteed shots. So, three health on this guy. Three... Am I glad I took that pistol upgrade? Because now I can just guaranteed kill all of these guys. There we go. That's another one down. Uh, and then we have that one. How much health is that one? I think that's three, right? So that's 94% for three health. There we go. So that's her guaranteed kills there. Because I think the zombie actually has four. And I don't want to... Don't want to risk blowing that thing up right now. So, moving further up, I could actually go through the building for defense. Yeah, let's put Heidi in moving the building. The turns until ammunition runs out. So, we have three turns, by the way. I completely missed that timer because of the chosen dropping in. And then I think Emily, Emily has the shark gun, right? So, Emily can 100% kill this thing. Uh, that should be a hit. There, there, there we go. Was a bit delayed. And then... 87% on the Spectral Zombie. 
Yeah, there it goes. And I think... Okay, so I think we're far enough away. And that didn't give us an extra shot, of course. Um, I think I'm gonna have to move Lisbeth up a little bit, yeah. If I can move her up closer, that's gonna help out. And then... Heidi can actually take out the rest of these guys, because she has very high damage. So 97, first to 100%. Always go for the sure thing. There we go. And then let's use the other shot to kill the last one. So that's also should pretty much be a guaranteed shot. And then we can reload the shard gun. There we go. Then we can put Jacqueline up closer as well. And get Kelly up closer as well. I don't think even if it explodes, if the truck explodes, that she I'll won't even be in the way of that. Her cover might be gone, but I think that's basically it. So, the Chosen did something. But we don't know what. A lost Swarm is very close by. That the blows up. Oh. And of course, because of the explosion of the truck, the Lost Swarm comes closer. Okay, but I think... Okay, so there's a there's a swarm right here. So, Lisbeth. Lisbeth. Hello, Lisbeth. Ooh, Bolt. Yeah, they're actually in the back of those guys. So we still have two more turns to get uh, to our... Uh, well, our troops that are in danger. Uh, so let's start putting Jacqueline a bit closer. We need eyes. We need eyes on all of this. Let's go with the 91 on the dasher over there first. So that should be a kill. There we go. That's one. There's another one in the building, but apparently she can't see that one. There's one right beside that one. But I can't really see it, so... Oh, and we actually have sight on the Chosen there. But I can't see him with squad sights. So that means we're going to have to take out a few select ones. Because I'm going to put... Try and put Lisbeth closer. Because if Lisbeth can actually start seeing the uh, the Chosen, that would be really nice. But she can't actually reach up to that container just yet. Well, she can't. But, I mean, I want to put her in a bit of a safe position. She can actually get on top of the roof, even. Huh. That might also be interesting. So Kelly has an 84% shot on the closest loss, so we should probably take that. There we go. That's a kill. We actually do a lot of damage with all of that. Um, and then she should technically be able to kill some more, but I first want to move up Lisbeth. If I can move Lisbeth closer... Does she actually has have her squad mate? No, she doesn't have a bond yet, so I can't give her an extra action. So I'm just going to put Lisbeth over here. It's not high ground, but at least she's a bit closer. And she might even be able to see the Chosen from there. I don't think she did. Can't really see that, but I don't think she did. So now we can use the rest of our ammo to start firing at the rest of the Lost. Unless we want to use an explosion, but I feel like we shouldn't. Uh, Emily should probably just reload. It's killing time. There we go. So Kelly misses her first shot, which is not good. Um, the shark gun I'm going to just put closer. Uh, the closer I'm going to get, the better. Uh, probably just right next to Lisbeth over here. And then Jacqueline can start firing away as well. Just try a few shots. She hits her first one. And then she can try another one. And Jacqueline actually gets a promotion, which is really good. Uh, so there we go, another lost. But that needs to be five damage. Ooh, and that's only four. Damn it, I don't get a reload then. Okay. There goes the Chosen. Oh, and there's more. Ooh, that's a heavy. That's a heavy one. But I think with a single shotgun shot, I might be able to take that thing out. Hi. Hi. And he's actually getting pretty close. So in one turn, their, their ammo actually runs dry. Ooh, there might be a few hits there. I didn't think those were going to be dashers. Do they get a hit? Yep. They got me. One damage. I'm all right. 
Thank you. Okay, I'm glad you all got. Out of ammo for the turret, Commander. We have to get moving. I don't know what happens when they run out of ammo, by the way. Um, and I'm not exactly sure if I'm gonna be able to put somebody in that circle. It doesn't look like it. So, who? So Heidi has actually has a bomb mate. So Kelly is a bomb mate. So I think I'm gonna use Heidi to actually move forward and get inside that circle. I don't really have another choice. The Chosen is still up there. So we might be able to get do something as well. But first things first. Lisbeth. Where's Lisbeth? There's Lisbeth. So let's start pistol shotting everybody. So that's 100%. He only has one health left. So. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. There we go. There we go, and we get another action. Now, Heidi. Heidi, Heidi, Heidi. I think... What can Jacqueline see? So Jacqueline's gonna have to reload. We need to do that either way. So there we go. That's a reload. Then, I think Kelly. Kelly has the rifle. So I can't shoot with Kelly, but... But, 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 but... There we go. Emily does have the shotgun. So there's one right in front of her face. That's 100%. At least 6 damage. So that's a 1 guaranteed kill. And there we go. In slow motion. Target there we go. Assembled. Then. Uh, I need to get as close as possible. Kelly needs to move up as well. So Kelly I'm going to put over here. She needs to save her last action for Heidi. So there we go. That's Kelly. That's Kelly's last action. Now Lisbeth. Lisbeth in a second. Lisbeth might be able to get a sniper shot off on the Chosen. But 80% on the lost over there by Jacqueline. Jacqueline just reloaded, so this is her final action. If I can kill that lost, we're pretty good. 80%. 4 damage. There we go. 6 damage even. That was amazing. Okay. Okay. So that means we could technically fire on that lost as well. But for that lost, I have a special surprise. We can actually use Emily... To get a bit closer and hopefully get a nice shotgun blast that kills him outright. So that's a brute, brute down in one shot with our upgraded shotguns. Enemy destroyed. So that great, she gets another action, but now Heidi. Heidi moves up um, as close as possible to the circle. So I'm gonna do this in, in sections. So one move. That should get a sight on the Chosen. chosen Just as they have chosen you, Commander. So there's the Chosen. We, we can now fire at him. Destined to serve at their side. If he would shut up. Bring their vision to this world and beyond. Come. Allow yourself to be reclaimed. That's the Elder's Warlock. All reports indicate he's nearly as dangerous as they are when it comes to psionic capabilities. So he's completely exposed over there, so I think Lisbeth should have a nice shot at him. 65. It's not the best, but it's something. I set her up over here just for that, so Lisbeth, fire away. Come on, come on, come on. And there we go, that's 5 damage. 5 damage on the Chosen. So you have learned at least one tactic. Yeah, shoot, shoot in the face. That's always one of the tactics. So, I can put Heidi over here now. I don't know what happens when the, the turret runs out. If they're just going to immediately murder everybody. But I'm not going to risk it. So, Jacqueline. Can I actually toss the flashbang into... Because he's not immune to explosions. No, he's too far away. So, Jacqueline. Jacqueline, I'm going to move up. Jacqueline needs to move up. I can't do anything with an overwatch shot. There we go. Then, Emily. Emily should probably reload. Yeah, I'm gonna reload Emily. So she's fully equipped to deal with the next turn. Then, Kelly. I'm gonna wait with Kelly. Heidi needs to go in here. And that's just too far away from the circle. But if we give her the, uh, the teamwork action there we go we can actually put Heidi completely out there and provide support 
in the circle. I don't know how this is going to work. That's a terrible position, by the way, but I put her in between them. The VIP is secure, Commander. If we can spare the manpower, we should try to bring the escort in as well. Without the VIP manning the turret controls, there's nothing keeping the Lost from overrunning this area. They're already closing in. So now we need to run back as fast as possible. But the Chosen gets... Ooh. So he regenerates, and there's another trooper. Teleport ally. To over there, but I don't think he gets an action, right? Because he's a new... How much actions does this guy get? And there's another Lost Swarm. Okay, we can deal with all of that. I hope. Because there's like a lot of them. There's, there's like a whole lot of them. Eesh. Are they gonna get a few hits in there? Yeah, they're definitely gonna hit her. Two damage. Your soldiers cannot last forever, and they miss the chosen. Okay. Brand is in position. Get back to the entry point for extraction before you get overrun. We're picking up more heat signatures than the sensors can keep up with. You are out of your depths. The Elder's vision stretch beyond time itself. So these missions are freaking awesome, by the way. But, so this is the VIP. So let's... Oh crap, I need to pick... I need to pick her up, right? Ooh, okay. But I'm gonna move the VIP back. That's the first thing we need to do. Just move her back as fast as possible. I'm gonna then bring everybody else closer for just one turn. Because we're gonna get overrun in a second. So I can pick up... The Grenadier. So if I don't do that, I'm not getting the Grenadier. So... Whew. So basically the VIP I just recovered is the Engineer. And the woman on the floor, of course, is our... Grenadier that we're gonna get. I wonder if I can revive her. Not exactly sure. But I could train her shotgun on every lost close by. Just to get them off my back. Let's first see with everybody else what we can do. Because I think I need to shoot a few times at the uh, the Chosen as well. If I can put Jacqueline over here. She has a wider shot at the, uh, the Chosen there. That's 70%. That's actually pretty good. I can't really use explosives. I could use the flashbang, but that's probably gonna... I mean, it's a bang. It's gonna trigger the, uh, the Lost even more. So, 70% on the Warlock. Yeah, I need to take this. I'm gonna have to take this. So, maximum of 5 damage if I hit. That's more... Ooh, there we go. Maximum damage. And I think that even got rid of his... Did that get rid of his... Cover? No. No, you will not. So, uh, let's put Kelly closer as well. Because uh, I need to focus the attention of everybody to my soldiers and not everybody else. Good fire at the Warlock again. Because we actually have shots on him. 55 is not a lot, actually, for a sniper rifle at this distance. Yeah, I'm going to do my original plan. So let's have Lisbeth fire at the Horde for a bit. So those are all guaranteed shots. So I'm just going to... Make her kill about three of them. I'm taking the ones that are closest to my exit route. So uh, let's just kill these three. And then get on our way. So now let's pick up. Because I don't know what my uh, speed is going to be if I pick uh, this one up. That's a nice uh, view with the zombie just looking uh, at her. And seems like we have full speed, so that's great. So if we can put her... There's one more in the warehouse. Yeah, we can put her here in full cover. Affirmative. So there we go. Slowly moving away from all the troubles over there. She's taking a hit, Heidi. But I'm hoping I can keep her alive, because... Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, next up... 
is Emily. Emily still has a few things she can do as well. Uh, no, she can't. She literally can't. She's for some reason blocked for everything, even those lost in the back. So I'm gonna have to put her on Overwatch in a minute. But, 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 but that Dasher. I'm guessing that Dasher is gonna keep going for the lo the chosen, not the lost, the chosen. So let's fire away at the chosen. 50-50, and there we go, another hit. So that's four more damage. I'm guessing he's gonna retreat if he can't do anything. Um, I could actually get Lisbeth closer, but I think as a sniper, she's best to fire from the back. Uh, we can deal with anything that comes across our path in a second. So 50-50 again, and that's a miss. Don't worry, Lisbeth. I was, uh... And then Emily goes on to Overwatch with the shotgun. So that trooper goes... Ooh, that's a critical. That's a critical on the VIP. I didn't see that trooper over there. Where the hell did he come from? Ooh, Mind Scorch. What is Mind Scorch? Dazed. Okay, but that's not a problem. I can deal with Dazed. And then the Lost are gonna hopefully go... Ooh, there's another Lost Swarm. In an aimless place, without purpose or insight, you humans will be grateful. You will die, still aware of your own existence. And Emily takes one out coming out of the door. And Callie is dazed, so that means that she can be interrogated if we don't revive her ASAP. And we get more Lost, obviously. They're getting closer, but for now, I think we're fine. Because I think they're focusing on... Yeah, they're going for the Chosen... Oh, God. So he gets hit, and he's brittle, so he takes extra damage. We have a soldier down. Get him back on their feet on the double. Does that mean it's our turn now? Because that, that uh, operative is in, re <laughs> in really bad shape. Um... There we go. Hey, Chin Chin Park, just move your ass out of there. Um, I'm even gonna put behind the truck, inside the truck. Yeah, inside the truck. There we go. Just let's just move that away. Move that away, because she's almost dead. And that's our engineer. We want to keep our engineer alive. Okay. Then, Lizbeth. Lizbeth, what else can you see? She has sight on a lot of these guys. So let's start pistol shooting. One. Two. Three. Oh fuck, and the fourth one is a miss. Okay, that means we can't snipe the Chosen anymore. Um, Heidi... No, I'm gonna have to use Jacqueline for this purpose, I think. No, Heidi needs to move. I could technically put her down. They're far enough away, I don't think... So what happens if I put down... So let's put... Her down with Heidi. Because I don't think that actually takes an action. I put it down for a second. And then I. St oh no, that is already an action. So that's revive. I could revive, but then I can't take it out of there anymore. Okay. Can I revive from a distance with our specialist? No, that is our specialist. <laughs> Great. Um. Then it's gonna have to be Emily. On my way. So Emily, go over there. So Heidi, since you're still up and about, you might as well take a shot at that's 93 if I don't hit that. Uh, okay, we hit that. Okay, fair enough. There we go. We can now pick her back up again. That's annoying. So let's pick Yvonne back up. Because that was not what I wanted to do, but okay, fair enough. I didn't realize that was going to take an entire action. So let's put her over here behind the container. Out. Then Emily can revive Kelly. Don't move. You'll be all right. Who are you guys? She is disoriented. But revive doesn't take an action. Okay, revive doesn't take an action. That means we can pull back Emily now as well. 
So let's put her out of sight of the trooper. The and then Kelly doesn't really have a lot of options. Because Kelly is dazed. Kelly is dazed she, so she can't really move away now. Damn it, that's annoying. 29 is too low to even attempt. So might as well try and take out that lost over there. Although, can I put her... No, I can't put her in any sort of cover. Might as well try it. Headshot 50-50. And that misses. And she's out of ammo. So that's going to be tricky. So that's going to be tricky. So, there's a brute coming in as well. So I need to move Jacqueline further away. So I'm going to do that. There we go. And then use the flashbang. I know it's an explosive, but I don't really see another option here. Use the flashbang on both the Chosen and the Trooper. So I think if I do it like this, should be enough to disorient both of them. There we go. Jacqueline to the rescue with a flashbang. And that... I don't know if that did anything. It should have done something. Because I don't think he was explosive proof, but he might be... Oh, where the hell did those guys come from? They just spawned in the middle of the map. So the troopers are getting closer and they're just going to keep firing at our, our stuff, right? Where are they? Oh no, he's firing backwards. Okay, that's good. That's good. And then the Chosen... He can't extract information, because nobody's dazed, but he can mind control, no. No, that's bad. Oh, that is not good. That is not good. And now the Lost Star... Oof. Oh man, oh man, this is bad, oh man, this is bad. He is getting hit again, oh them, they miss. Yeah, I'm gonna have to start firing at, oh come on, they missed as well. And she gets hit again, this is bad. Is forth. So Emily is still mind controlled. I don't know how I'm gonna take that away. I'm gonna have to be really aggressive now towards the the chosen. So first up, Lizbeth can start killing. <laughs> well, lost again. So uh, here we go. <laughs> One. Because if I can blow the cover away from that chosen. I might be able to get rid of the uh Unelli. Get rid of the <laughs> the mind control. Um So this is risky, but I'm gonna have to Oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do it. I'm gonna have to do it. So Jacqueline closer. Frag grenade the hell out of us. Ooh, let me get that cover. Yeah, I can. Okay. I think... Yeah, I think there's there's one tile that I can get that generator behind him as well. There we go. So that's straight in there. That completely removes all of his cover. Here we go. So, grenade out of there. Blabo. I think, yeah, that shredded his armor as well. And took care of the, uh, yeah, ooh, and of course another Lost Swarm appears now. Ooh, Nelly. But I think I can take out most, most of them. <gasps> oh, God. Um, I need to get that Lost, that Chosen, down. Oh, please, Lisbeth, hit with this. Please, hit, but Lisbeth, hit with this. Ooh, that was even a critical. That was a critical. That was seven damage. Um, Emily. I think Emily is going to have to get closer as well. But I'm just thinking that that tube is still alive. 
That trooper is also still alive. Um, I'm gonna have to put down... Yeah, I'm gonna have to put down the one I'm escorting. So let's put her down. And then reload Heidi so I can use her next turn. I'm ready. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Okay. So that's that. And I think Emily... Yeah, Emily is our last... Our last one. So I need to use her to get rid of some lost. Ooh, this is bad. This is really, really bad. He's going for Lost, which is good. As long as he's going for Lost, that's good. But I feel like he's not going to keep shooting at Lost. Although, he has a giant buffet here. And that was not a kill, so he's out of actions. Then the Chosen goes. For some reason, the Chosen goes closer. And he gets another Mind Scorch in. So that's another one of our units on the floor. Dazed, and that's Lisbeth that's dazed. And then Kelly goes in. Oh, Kelly's gonna kill. Oh, she needed to reload. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. And he's surrounded by Lost, by the way. I don't know what he's gonna do, because <laughs> they, they look really, really interested in him. Um, are you gonna start hitting him now? Or are you still gonna go for me? Oh, he's going up. That's good. He's there going down. But the frame rate doesn't like this. Oh, boy. Ooh, that's seven damage. He's getting his ass kicked, but I'm gonna get. One five. Keep pushing towards the evac point. No matter what you do, you're never gonna make a dent in the lost. There's just too many coming in. Bradford, there's a freaking no alien over there. <laughs> okay. Um. There we go. VIP extracted, and there she goes. So that's at least an engineer. Firebrand is the VIP safely on board the Sky Ranger. So, there's a few... Well, there's a lot of aliens in our way. What else do we have here? So I have... Heidi has a full shotgun. Okay, okay. This is what we're gonna do. This is what we're gonna do. So we're gonna put Heidi next to Lisbeth. Lisbeth is day, so if we can get her out of that, that's good. Then, revive. So that's a free action. So now Heidi still has four shots. So that means we can take out all the heavy hitting losts in the closest vicinity. So not that one, definitely. There we go. She doesn't nail the four damage on that loss next to Jacqueline, but at least we get something. Now, we still have Heidi. When in doubt, we still have Heidi. So Heidi can't really use her sword now, but we still have Emily now, and we've cleared out the way a bit. Can we sword the Chosen now? We can't. So that's too bad. That seems to indicate that we're going to have to do the risky thing and put Jacqueline right next to the Chosen. Yep, let's do that then. Let's put Jacqueline right next to the Chosen. <laughs> Oh, this is such a bad idea. So now we have an 89% chance to do 6 to 9 damage because it's close quarters. So if we hit him, he dies. And I'm assuming he's not going to die permanently. But here we go. We hit him. There he goes. Five ability points for killing a Chosen. But now, now we didn't make things easier for us. So he teleports out of there. People a break after taking down that chosen commander. I doubt it'll be long before we see that thing again, though. Um, we're not done yet. There's still a trooper over there, and Jacqueline is in the thick of it now. So you might be wondering why we're back here all of a sudden. Well, I kind of had a mini heart attack. The game crashed on me. Probably too many losts. Um, 
and it just didn't just crash it just completely deleted my save file in the process as well luckily PlayStation Plus came to the rescue and I still had the backup save file from yesterday when I recorded the previous episode so I have a save file before this resistance op so I lost the entire episode you just watched I'm gonna have to do that again I'm not gonna let you sh see that again I might just show, show you the highlights but I'll get back to that once we're pretty much at the evacuation stage of the same mission again hopefully nobody dies again um, because, yeah, that would have been different then, but I do want to keep everybody alive this time. Well, this time, everybody was still alive, so I'm going to keep it that way, hopefully. I don't even know if the Warlock is going to show up again, if we're going to have to do that again, but uh, I guess we'll see. So, here we go. And there we go, we take out the Chosen for the second time, the Warlock. So Heidi gets her five ability points, but now... The situation is a bit different, so we haven't been damaged at all for now. There's also a more straight shot towards our objective, so uh, the VIP is already out of the way. So now... I think Emily is our last unit here to do something, so we're just going to use her as a bit of defense, while Jacqueline tries to get the, uh, well, the escort back with us as well. So Jacqueline takes her first hit and takes two damage. But that's it for now. Get back to the entry point for extraction before you get overrun. And I need Jacqueline to pick up the uh, escort. So I'm just gonna grab her. So this is yeah. So I can put her right next to him or her. And then we can pick her up. And then Jacqueline can just leave. Now we get another hit in. That's two damage. Oh, I think that's Emily. So Emily needs to get out of there fast. I mean, everybody needs to get out of here fast. So let's do exactly that. Almost there, but the frame rate is still dying. So I'm hoping this doesn't crash the game again. Because the Lost Swarm seems to be appearing every single turn now. Even though I did, I was faster on the draw last time than last time, but ugh. come on, game, keep it together. And then we get a pistol overwatch shot, and that misses as well, so I think uh, that's Kelly. Kelly gonna take a few hits. So yeah, Kelly takes a two damage hit. And we can get out of here. Oh, cool. The level is breaking down, the frame rate is breaking down. Then I need to check because I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, Heidi with the movement bonus because I gave her the PCS. Can't actually get in there. And then I hope that Emily actually has the movement. Yeah, she does. She does. So everybody goes in here. And we can start evacing people. Please don't press the wrong button. There we go. Evac 1. Evac 2. Evac 3. And Evac 4. And that's the mission. There we go. Damn, that was a mission. And we defeated the uh, Chosen again. So four wounds, but uh, we killed 53 out of 62 enemies. Let's just get out of here. And we're returning home. Under valiant music, heroic music, because we've earned it. Chosen are incredibly resilient. And there we go, Despite five promotions. Victory over them today, we still have much to learn if we wish to destroy them permanently. So uh, Jacqueline was even shaken. I'm not exactly sure what that means, but let's go over the promotions. Lisbeth first. Her sharpshooter abilities are going to come become much stronger. So now we're going for long watch, of course. So allow overwatch to take with squad side. There we go. Dan Jacqueline, either demolition, unleash a volley of bullets at your target's cover, significantly damaging or destroying it, but deals no damage to your target. Or a suppression fire barrage that pins down a target, granting a reaction fire against it if it moves and imposing a minus 50 penalty to the target's aim. Uh, and I think it also wastes a lot of ammo. So demolition or suppression, I think demolition might be more 
uh, interesting if you want to take out cover without actually using an explosion, because explosions, uh, well, they're the lost over to us. So demolition it is. Heidi. Heidi goes up to Lieutenant. So uh, conceal immediately enter concealment once permission again. Or run and gun, take an action after dashing. Definitely run and gun. Then, Emily. Emily. Our uh, second ranger to reach Corporal. I mean, aside from Tatiana, who died in the last mission. But um, Phantom or Blade Master? I think I'll, I'll always go with Blade Master. Blade Master is just way too good. Uh, even with. Because uh, we get a Blade upgrade later in the game as well. So, Blade Master it is. Because that basically guarantees a hit against most targets with the blade. It does put her in an awkward position, but if it's the last enemy, we can make use of that. And then we get Kelly, and I think we might actually need another... Hmm. Do we go for medical protocol or combat protocol? I think we should go... At not using medical protocol too much, but I'm guessing in more... Uh, normal advent missions, I'm going to be using medical protocol more. So medical protocol, there we go. And there we go, four promotions in a single mission, but they're all knackered. They're wounded, they're tired, only Lisbeth came out pretty much fine, but otherwise... There we go, an engineer, that's already very great. We get the engineer, 67 intel and a grenadier, but nothing else because we uh, ran out of there fast. The bond between these soldiers continues to grow. They can gain additional tactical strengths if they continue their training together. Aha, so Heidi and Kelly have reached a new level of tactical compatibility and are eligible to be bonded. Improving this bond requires staffing both soldiers in the training center. Yes, yes. Uh, so I think I, did I just do that? I'm not exactly sure. Did, are they now training? I'm not exactly sure if they're training now. So we get a new soldier and a new engineer. But are these guys training? No, they're not. Improve soldier bond, but I can't because they're wounded. Okay. So now we have an extra engineer, but nothing we can actually do with that extra engineer. I know I'm going to let her idle for two days now because we need to clear that alien machinery next. So... Let's go to the bridge and hope that nothing happens, because I feel like... But we did get Yvonne Vega, so a Grenadier. Look at that. She looks pretty cool. Yeah, I'll probably keep her that way. Maybe get rid of the shorts, because that's not really armor proof, is it? But we can promote her. 69 aim is also very good. Uh, and let's get her to Shredder, as we discussed before. Um, so Shredder and Launch Grenade. So Shredder now her... Uh, her cannon, at cannon attacks will shred armor like we do with the explosives. Um, that's that. So if you look at our lists, um, if we don't use anybody that isn't tired or wounded, we have Yvonne now as our top soldier, then Marina, which is also a grenadier, a corporal, no, a squaddy grenadier, and then uh, basically two rookies. So if a mission happens in the next day because in the on the next day we get uh, three more back so sarah alessia and lisbeth get back from being tired and i think we can still use tired soldiers but still it's not ideal um there is an engineer in the infirmary so that is good so let's just go to the bridge because if i'm remembering this correctly we still have the supply drop indeed and there's more supplies on the battlefield so let's not check that right now but let's go check our supplies because we have basically nothing left Heidi's back and the alien machinery is cleared. Sorry, assassin, I don't really care. So that clears up that room. But we're still looking at our power consumption there. So if we go into here, the exposed power coil, we have three available ex uh, engineers. So if we do exactly that, three engineers and excavate, how long does that take? 10 days. Okay, that's fine. Because I can use my extra engineers as well to speed up the building of the uh, the power relay over there. So I think we're on track. I think we're on track. Uh, and we're still getting more and more supplies and our research is almost on as well. So good news, good news all around. There we go, more supplies and oh, I take it this was the autopsy. Easier than your last procedure, Doctor. Central, Commander. Yes, I find the process to be far less disconcerting when the subject 
has already expired. The results, however, it's best you see for yourself. My autopsy of the Advent Captain has confirmed the existence of an implant, similar in design to the unit I extracted from the Commander. But there are differences. What kind of differences? The data you see is being pulled directly from this Advent Captain's implant. The sequence here is essentially you, Commander. Or at least the tactical information they were processing through your mind. As you can see, the data is nearly identical. They were using you against us. Yes, however, the Advent data shows signs of decay. Removing the Commander from their network has likely caused significant damage. Network? Yes, what we're seeing here is a psionic network. These implants are capable of receiving and transmitting information, a great deal of information, somehow encoded in a stream of psionic energy. My working theory? Advent uses this network to augment the tactical readiness of its troops, as well as disseminate orders from its central command. Observe. Even in the subject's diminished condition, the implant continues to have an effect. A truly astonishing achievement. Or a weakness. Potentially. But I need direct access to their network to know for sure. I'm guessing that won't be easy. We'd need an active link. And that would mean hacking a live Advent officer. Like I said, not easy. Still, it's the best lead we've got. Your call, Commander. Skull jacking incoming. New objective added. Use the Skulljack item on an Advent Officer in combat to gain access to the alien communication network. So it needs to be an officer and we need to Skulljack him. Skulljacking is not guaranteed and we need to get up close to do it. So we need to construct a proven ground facility first, complete the Skulljack project so we can make one and then use the Skulljack on an Advent Officer, which is progress, good. Commander. So there we go, the proven grounds can now be created. And once we have power, we will be able to do that. We don't get anything fancy after that and I think... So it's either resistance radio or start working towards plated armor. But I'll first do resistance radio. If you don't get anything fancy for plated armor afterwards, we're going with plated armor anyway. So plated armor guaranteed after resistance radio. And then we get our final supplies. Amelie's is out of there as well. And Hilda has been trained as a specialist. So let's carry on with that. And I think... We should probably put another one in. So Paula can become another sharpshooter. There we go with that. And then we can go back to the bridge. I think we're almost done with the covert operation as well. So the covert action is done in three days. We're getting a few things from that as well. And now we got our final supplies. Let's ignore everything else. And now we can't make any more contact. So we're going to have to decide where we go. It's either going to the supplies or we're gonna search for the black market black market is also very interesting to have as an option but since we barely have any oh we do have a lot of intel now i don't know where that came from but might as well go to the black market then uh anything else yeah let's go to the black market seems like the better option Avengers. don't forget we still have the advent black site we can hit at any time so if we need to reduce the timer again we can just go to the black side afterwards so uh, let's just start scanning for the black market we're actually going Ooh. commander there were a few wounded during the latest covert action but after a few days rest everyone will be ready to get back out there so Christina gained experience and increased cohesion with Elena, which is interesting. And Elena got some experience as well. And Christina has her aim increased, but they are wounded now. This Does that open up a mission? Faction maintains their headquarters. I'll admit they can be a bit extreme when it comes to psionics, but so far they seem loyal to our cause. We can scan at this location to gain additional support from their people. So, another thing that we can scan at... My people understand the value of our cooperation, Commander. The Elders see us as nothing more than raw materials for their design. We will take back our power and turn it against them. And there we have oh, Geist. Commander, it's about time we spoke, don't you think? I'm Geist, 
leader of the Templar Order. But I'm sure you already knew that. Stories of me tend to spread far and wide. You are welcome here any time, Commander, for among all others of your kind, you alone know the true power of the Elders. You have touched their minds, you have heard their voice, and surely you know that they must fall. On behalf of all Templars, I humbly offer our services towards their demise. Together, we shall be unstoppable. That sounds great. So Both there we go. Your and your people continue to grow in skill, and now the Resistance can take on more responsibility, should you need it. Okay, so resource rewards on all missions are increased by 15%. Resistance orders are powerful strategic abilities unique to each faction and can only be activated at the end of each month. So there we go, we get two new ones for that. And so now, if we go to the Templar, we heal faster. So each HQ actually has a separate effect. So the Templar HQ heals us faster, Reaper HQ gains intel, and I think the skirmishers are over here, we build faster. Uh, but we can't get to the skirmishers just yet. Um, we're also going to see where we actually need to build towards. Western US is pretty far away. But I think we can even access it from over here as well. But still plenty of things to grow towards. And we can finish searching for the black market now. And of course not because we immediately triggered a, a guerrilla operation. Let's give you the targets. With the number oh. of contacts we've established, we're getting requests for support from multiple sites around the world. Unfortunately, we only have the resources to respond to one of them. The decision is yours. So we either get South Africa, where we need to protect the device, and we get 150, well, 148 supplies, and we counter the stiletto rounds. That's not that much of a problem. East Africa, an easy mission where we get a scientist, and that would counter the increased intel costs when we need to destroy the alien relay. Sounds doable. And then in West Africa we get intel and we counter a hidden event. Hmm. I think I need to go for the easy one. Because an extra scientist wouldn't hurt. That increases research speed. Destroying the alien relay is always doable, and the difficulty is also easy, which means less aliens to worry about. Um, and the dark event is something I really want to counter, because alien cipher is a bitch, if I can say that. So let's go with East Africa. So there we go, East Africa, a short, little, easy mission, hopefully. Famous last words, but uh, next time we're going to be heading out with uh, a few familiar faces, but I'm going to have to reconfigure this a bit. We can actually bond Lisbeth with Jacqueline, which is going to come in rather nicely. So let's do that. Aha, we actually got a Templar as well. And judging from her name, she's actually female, which is great. So that is Lena Storm Bauer. Lena Bauer. Yeah, that looks great. And they have abilities, a special submachine gun, it looks like. Let's check that out. So Templar armor. Shard Gauntlets can attack adjacent enemies with their shard events even after using both actions to move or dash to the extent of their movement range. The decision to engage the enemy in melee combat can be a decisive one. Exercise caution, keep an eye out for opportunities to improve your edged weapon effectiveness. The enemy may have access to better technology. Now we have the auto pistol 2 to 3 damage, so that only going for the abilities and not the weapons here. And abilities. Let's promote her. So right now she can do Psyblade, Rend, melee attack with a chance to stun or disorient the target. Cannot miss, triggers momentum and generates focus on kills. I don't know what both of those means. Momentum and focus. Volt, psionic attack that deals low damage but jumps to nearby units at higher focus levels. Costs one focus. Okay, focus is a resource we need to use to spend on... Uh, Abilities apparently and then focus gain focus during missions increasing stats Damage and ability effectiveness focus can be spent on powerful abilities And now we have parry after attacking with rent prevent all damage from the next attack instead of moving That sounds great aftershock target struck by volt will be easier to hit increasing your squads aim by 15 against the targets 
amplify my market target single targets with a psionic lens causing them to take an additional 33 percent damage from a number of future single target attacks costs one opus that's actually pretty good 33 percent on a chosen that would be nice and then lightning hands fire your auto pistol at a target this attack does not cost an action that's the auto pistol i think amplify is gonna have to go first so amplify there we go that's 10 ability points spent and she looks really really cool can i actually swap out that auto pistol for something else no so not one of our fancy uh pistols over here we can't really use that we can change the shard gauntlets to anything else but that does four to five damage which is also really good probably even improved against flashy targets that's really really cool so lena definitely going on the next mission and then Yvonne is going to be our new uh, addition as well. So Yvonne is our new Grenadier. We're going to bring her along with us as well. And I'm going to give her the flashbang as a separate, uh, well, the utility item. And there we go. Here we have the squad for next time. So, uh, but before that, I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode of XCOM 2, the Valkyrie playthrough. And next time we're going on Operation Ghost Mask, where we need to destroy an alien reloy. And we're going to try out our first Templar trooper or whatever whatever I need to call that. So thank you guys so much for watching, and see you guys next time in the next episode of XCOM 2, the Valkyrie playthrough. Goodbye!